see the windmill, that's about where the trails end and loop around. Granted, they need a little bit of maintenance. There's also a nice area over there to sit at, take in the sights, maybe do some yoga. But yes, the trails, oh, camera, come into focus. The trails do need a little bit of maintenance. So if you are a volunteer, feel free to come help with trail maintenance. There we go, we're in focus now. So yes, the trails are long. And like I was saying earlier, it takes a lot of work to undo what has been done. So here in part of the, um, the Chihuahuan Desert Experience, you can see that we have planted some Ocotillo. I love Ocotillo, they're so beautiful. Let me stop walking so we can get them in clear focus. And it is thundering and raining and a little bit of lightning. And you know the phrase, when thunder roars, head indoors. So my slow foot and I are going to try to head back to the garden because I've got to lock up. See you in a second. Okay, my video is a little fuzzy. But there's the bird blind from a different angle. In front, of course, is the wetlands. The freeway, well, the dam, the freeway, and the city in the distance. And here up close, let's see. Oh, there's my finger. Okay, here up close, well, duh, we've got the trail. All right, keep walking. Okay, if we get another flash of lightning, you'll be able to see the overlook straight ahead. There's my hand pointing at the overlook. Boop. So you can climb the three or so steps. St oh, there it is. You can climb the three or so steps, stand there and take photos of the beautiful mountains, the wetlands, the birds as they're coming in. And I'm gonna let you guys in secret let's see what am I doing here I am also kind of rogue building it's a secret you guys a labyrinth a meditation walking labyrinth see the red stones so this is a little meditation labyrinth that I am slowly well with Michael's help the two of us are building this and, you know, a labyrinth, you kind of, it's not like a maze or the big labyrinths and gardens where you walk through to get lost. So you walk through a maze to get lost. That's fun. Walking in a labyrinth is also fun, but the purpose is different. You walk in a labyrinth, usually in a circle or some kind of pattern, slowly to find yourself. Normally you would stand at the entrance of the labyrinth, ask yourself a question silently because it's your meditation, ask yourself a question and ponder it as you slowly make your way to the center of the labyrinth. I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to find the answer when you get to the center of both yourself and the labyrinth, but I hope that you will be more on the path to your answer. So there, okay, walking back still. On our walk, we'll see many beautiful examples of the desert, like this tornillo. Uh, so bright with this flash. So the pod of the tornillo is also edible. In the spring, when it's green, you can eat it just raw. 
right now like it's turning brown it's drying or ripening I guess you would crush it up and make it into a meal of course it's also food for birds and other little animals what do we have here oh that's a vitex not native but it does very well in the desert and I am close to the garden. Almost there, yay! See the difference in the trails? So our lovely volunteers that I am so thankful for, we have Keystone volunteers, the Boy Scouts Troop 511, and of course the Texas Master Naturalists from the Trans-Pecos chapter. They've been so good about coming out and helping. Look at that, we've got trail that needs a little maintenance. I mean, it's workable, right? It's the ground. It's the natural ground. But over here, we have pecan shells. And why do we use pecan shells? It's organic. It's an organic trail that will feed the ground as it decomposes. It allows water to permeate into the ground. And it's just pretty. So I'm back at the kiosk at the head of the gate. I was planning on reading a little more of The Little Prince because surprisingly, I had a few people message me and ask me if I was going to continue reading The Little Prince because they love the story. So tonight it did not happen, but it will again, I promise. And you know, from the Chihuahuan Desert Experience, oh, I hope you didn't get too dizzy. From the Chihuahuan Desert Experience, we just walk across, come on to this trail. This trail takes us into the wetlands, or it takes us into the garden. Soon I'll be getting to the little turnoff, and this video is long enough, and I really appreciate you guys spending all this time with me. Let's see if it'll focus. And there's the garden gate.